Mm -hmm. Okay. That's All right. right. Let's read that book right there, even if I did something awful. This is a good story. You'll like this one. Yeah. By Barbara Shook Hazen. Even if I did something awful. Ah, oh, there's a little girl hugging her mom. And her daddy. Yes, and there she's playing with her little kitty. Okay, we have some pictures first of all to look at. She's playing with the ball. She's kicking the ball. She's throwing the ball. And she's kicking the ball again. And what happens when you kick balls in the house? Things get broken. And now she's looking at it. And she's covering her mouth because... <laughs> that was a bad thing. She broke something. It was made out of glass. It was made out of glass. And if she hadn't been playing with a ball in the house, she wouldn't have broken it. But there it is. So now we're going to turn the page. Mommy, do you love me? Uh-huh. A lot. A bundle and a bunch, said the mom. Next page. Would you love me no matter what I did? I sure would. Even if I did something awful? Like what kind of awful? Oh, look at the mom. She's getting a little worried. What kind of an awful thing have you done? Oh, lots of kinds. And see this little pink bubble? This is her imagination. She's going to imagine so She's going to imagine some things now. Would you still love me if I got an orange crayon on the carpet? Crayon on the carpet. I'd love you even if you crayoned the whole house. But I'd make you clean it up. Would you love me if Monster and I were playing rough and we pulled down the dining room curtains? I'd love you even if you played so rough you pulled down the Empire State Building but I'd make you pick it up. Would you still love me if I told a lie, like I was taking a bath when I wasn't, when what I was really doing was sitting on the edge of the tub, just swishing in the water? I'd love you even if you told a great whopper and said a whale sloshed the water all over the room. But it'd make you mop it up after that. You'd still have to take a bath. What's he doing? She's just imagining that, that big old fish getting bathtub water all over the floor. Would you love me? If the baby made me mad and I pinched it. I'd love you even if you gave the baby away. But I'd go get him back. Would you love me if I got mad at you and said I hated you? I'd love you even if you got so mad. You said you hated me more than lima beans and sent me to the moon with only a one-way ticket. Wow, that's pretty, pretty mad, huh? Yeah. And I would never hate you back, but I would find a way to hurry home. See what she's done is she's found a spaceship to come home in. But what if I did something really, truly awful? Like what? Like playing ball in the living room after you told me not to and breaking the vase that Daddy gave you for your birthday 
Even if I didn't mean to and it was an accident, would you still love me then? I love you so much. I'd love you if you did mean to do it and if it wasn't an accident. Well, that's a lot, don't you think? Yeah. Even if, even if you broke it on purpose, I'd still love you. But I also might be mad and might yell things like, I told you a thousand times and this is the last straw and I've had it with your disobeying and sent you to the ro into your room with no dessert. And I'd cry a little and I'd pick up the pieces. It's her favorite thing. I'll help. But I'd still love you no matter what, no matter how mad and no matter how awful. And I always will. Me too, Mommy. That's a nice little book, isn't it? Yeah, let's read it now. Okay. <laughs>